Hi, grade levels. Today we are going to look at the angle of inclination. Angle of inclination, if we look at the x-axis, it's an angle that any line will form when it is rotated on the about a point on the x-axis. So that angle over there that is formed as I rotate this pen is called the angle of inclination. It's always above the x-axis because we measure angles like that. To work out the angle of inclination, we use the formula 10 theta is equal to m, where m is the gradient of the line, m is the slope of the line. Sometimes you may be asked to find m, meaning the gradient of the line. So if I know the size of an angle, if I know the size of the angle of inclination, then I'll be able to find out what is the gradient or the slope of that line. Let's look at some of the examples. Here they say, find the gradient of each of the following lines. So we want us to find the gradient. We say to find the gradient, we'll use this formula. So we'll say m is equal to tan of theta, where theta is the size of the angle of inclination. So m is equal to tan of 75 degrees. So m, which is the gradient of that line, will be equal to 10 of 75 degrees. And the answer is that. Let's put it in decimals is 3,7. So answer is 3,7. That is the gradient of that line. Let's look at this one. Find the gradient of this line here. So m is equal to tan of theta. So m is equal to tan. And our theta here is 120 degrees. So m is equal to put in a calculator. Then 10 of 120 degrees giving me a negative square root of 3 and negative square root of 3 or in decimal form we can say the answer is negative 1,7 negative 1,7 let's look at this one here so m is equal to tan of theta so m is equal to tan of 90 degrees because the angle is 90 degrees if we look at the calculator let's find out 10 of 90 what's that mm. It says error. In fact, it's because the line is vertical. It's so steep. Therefore, the gradient is undefined. Here we say M is undefined. Let's look at another example. This example says, find the angle of inclination. Now we want to find the angle of inclination. We want to find the size of that angle over there. It's an angle above the x-axis. So you can see here, the line here is not in standard form. Remember the standard form is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient, right? So we want to find the angle there. We need to know what, what m is for this line. So must write it in standard form because this is 2y divide everything by 2. I get y is equal to divide by 2. It's 3x divided by 2. It's plus 4. Therefore, you can see now the gradient is, which is m, is just 3. Now, we're finding the angle, the size of the angle. So find the size of angle, write it in this form. And say 10 theta is equal to m. So we say tan of theta is equal to m because we want to find theta, which is an angle. So we don't know now the angle, theta equals m and m. We said m in this case is 3, so it's 3. So now 10 theta is equal to 3. How do I find the theta in this case? Remember that I've got to act tan. Remove this thing here. So I've got theta is equal to the tan with the minus 1 there, which says act tan. So we put a 3 here. So theta equals. If you go to a calculator, you know how to do this. You go shift button, act tan there, this like that. You've got a 3. Close your bracket there. There we go. The answer is 71,6 degrees. is 71. 6 degrees. That angle over there is 71,6 degrees. Now let's look at this one here. Remember that the angle that we're looking for is the angle over there, right? Now let's check here. What are we getting? If you look at this thing here, it's not in standard form. Let's write it in standard form. So I've got 3x plus 2y is equal to 10. Take this across. I've got 2y is equal to minus 3x plus 10. Divide by 2, I get y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 5. Now, the gradient is minus 3 over 2. Now, I know m is minus 3 over 2. To find the theta, we said tan theta is equal to minus 3 over 2 is equal to the gradient. And therefore, to find theta, so we'll have to act tan that. So, it's act tan 
of minus 3 over 2. Now check what we get here. So the theta that I get, if I say shift 10, and minus 3 over 2, 3 over 2, what do I get as an answer? It's minus 56,3. So I've got here minus 56,3 degrees. What does minus mean? Minus, and you can see this is acute. Minus means that the line now, although it's moved like that, the size of an angle that you are getting is an angle below. Because of the minus, it is giving us the angle below the line. It's a minus. That is 56, 3 degrees. The angle of inclination must be an angle above the line. So remember that in a grade 8 mathematics, the sum of the angles on the line gives you 180. So how do I get that angle there? I've got to subtract that from 180 degrees. So I would say 180 degrees, subtract that angle which is 56 and I get 124 and if one, sorry, uh, subtract 180 Subtract 56,356656.3 56, equals an answer which is 123,7. So the answer there is 123,7 degrees. So the angle of inclination, the angle of inclination, angle of inclination equals 123,7 degrees. Now let's look at another example. In this case, we've got to find the size of angle beta. Note that angle beta is an angle over there. How do we find that? If you look at this one here, you can see the red line here doesn't touch the x-axis. So if that's the case that you get, just extend the line, extend the line so that it cuts the x-axis. Because now you can find that angle. Once you've got that one, try and find that angle. And then using the angles of a triangle, you'll get an answer. Now, we can find this because this line here has got the gradient of, of 3. So if I say a tan of theta is equal to m, I know m on this line here. So I say tan of theta is equal to 3. Therefore, theta is equal to arctan of 3. So theta is equal to what's arctan 3. Go to calculator, shift, 10, 3, close. Give me an answer of 71,6 degrees. This angle here is 71,6 degrees. Now let's try and find this one here. Now come this one here. You can see here I've got points. I'm giving points. There's a formula finding gradient if I'm giving points. Remember, it says m equals y2 minus y1. So over x2 minus x1. So it means that m here, y2 minus 69 minus 8 over 10 minus 5 what's the answer here so what answer do we get we get an answer which is um, let's put it in calculator so that we don't make mistakes it's minus 69 minus 8 so it's divided by 10 minus 5 what answer am I getting? I'm getting minus 77 over 5. So my answer here is minus 77 over 5. So that is the gradient. So therefore, say tan of theta is equal to minus 77 over 5. I can find theta. So theta equals arctan of, of minus 77 over 5. So theta equals, check here, so arctan of minus a fraction 77 over 5 equals minus 86 comma 3 so it's minus 86 comma 3 is minus 86 comma 3 degrees this angle here is a negative angle which is giving us that angle there which is 86 comma 3 degrees now remember in grade 8 this angle and that, they are vertically opposite angles. When I've got lines like this, so that angle, those two angles over there, they are vertical opposite, or those ones they are vertical opposite, they are equal. So that angle is same as that in size, 86,3 degrees. Now, using the angles of a triangle, I can find beta then, right? So I can say here, therefore, it means that angle beta is equal to 180 degrees minus this angle 
71,6 degrees minus this angle, which is 86,3 degrees because of the angles of a triangle. Right? So therefore, angle beta is equal to, put in the calculator, so I'll say 180 minus 71.6 minus 86.3 equals 22,1 degree, 22,1 degrees over there. The beta, which is that angle on top. First, find the angles on the x-axis, then the angle which is up there is easy to get. All right if you can try some of the examples from your textbook which is siabula textbook for grade 11 grade 11 could this right here grade grade 11 the chapter 4 and then you go to 4.3 inclination of a line exercise 4.5 and exercise 4.6 good luck ladies and gentlemen